Welcome to PC Whiskers Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the Silverstone's cooler and fan combination here that we're going to install. It's part of my reviews on building a performance gaming PC. Now the cooler today is the NT06 Evolution Cooler. It's a nicknamed the Nitrogen version here and it has these nice little heat pipes coming out of the copper base here that you can see. All right, so it kind of looks like a Starship, uh, <laughs> if you look at it closely, it's, it kind of resembles that. It's a nice, small, little cooler, okay? It's got these five heat pipes coming out of that base, right? And uh, it goes right into the copper aluminum um, top part here, the base with all the fins. It only weighs 430 grams, so it's a, it's a nice, lightweight cooler if you've got a small case. Uh, you don't have too much space to maneuver in there, and um, maybe you're making a media PC. Uh, you do have holes here to install a fan on top, and that's what we're going to do today. Silverstone has the Suscool fans, and today we have the uh, 121 version. Okay, so the Suscool 121 is what we're looking at today, but they also have uh, other Suscool fans and other other uh, capabilities. This one is thermally controlled. It has nine blades on it for high airflow coming down, and it's very quiet. So we just plop that on top here, and then we just put in the four screws and uh, we get that little guy installed fairly quickly. Um, after we install and put all those screws in, the next thing to do is obviously to attach this to your motherboard, right? To attach it back on top of the CPU. Okay, so there's the, uh, the fan heat sink cooler combo right there, ready to go, and you can install any, any fan. It doesn't have to be the Cisco one, but that's the one we're, we're working on today. As you can see, all these cables, uh, you've got the thermal sensor right there, so it uses that to detect the temperature, and then, of course, the airflow uh, is regulated and uh, pushed down into the uh, heat sink as the RPMs uh, of the fan uh, r rises, right? So the hotter it gets, the faster it gets. Look at the size of it, right? If you compare it with the stock cooler that I got here from AMD, I got to take that little guy out, take uh, those two um, the screws on each side and, and uh, the bracket there and, and put in um, this uh, kit that came with the um, the NT06 Evolution Cooler. Now in that kit here I've got these um, uh, retention brackets basically to, to put on top of the CPU. So you'll see this that um, whenever you get a cooler they usually come with their own type of kit, right? So if you have uh, an Intel or if you have an AMD you're gonna get different types of um, components here to attach it onto the CPU. And once you've attached that, of course, you can take off, peel off here that um, protective cover for the uh, copper base there. So we can put some thermal grease and get that uh, touching. Now, I already put the thermal grease, so we'll skip skip that part there and uh, just show you here how easy it is to install it. So you just plop that in there, aligning it with the uh, four screws that uh, I had put in already through the motherboard, and then attach the thumb screw in through the top here. So you just put in the four thumb screws that it came with in the kit and there you go all set now once that's done now we can take the motherboard of course and um, and put it inside of the case but you want to look for a cooler that has obviously some uh, some room right we don't want uh, for example the heat pipes here touching with uh, other heat sinks and other components so this one here has room around it so there's airflow happening there's room underneath the fan even though it kind of hangs over the uh, memory slots there's still lots of room for me to maneuver and insert memory so I'm going to show you here how easy it was I'll just take uh, my Kingston DDR2 uh, RAM that uh, that I have and show you how easy it is to install it right once you align it properly in there you would just clip it in place snap and there you go all done and I'll just uh, install uh, the two more in there for four gigs so you can just quickly see how easy it is to just press down and snap so it's not a big deal uh, the, the, the cooler is actually um, small enough that you can use it in a mini tower like in a, in a media PC right if you're if you're trying to, to, to uh, save space obviously then this is the cooler that you want you don't want these huge monsters there are larger coolers of course that will provide more cooling obviously but uh, this one uh, can you be surprised? I mean, for stock values, it's pretty good. So when it comes to benchmarks, obviously, um, 44 degrees Celsius on idle on my 2.6 gigahertz uh, uh, Phenom X4 that I had, and of course at 100% load here when I was running all four processors at 100%, it 
it went and shot up all the way uh, above the 60 uh, degrees Celsius mark. So it's uh, quite high, uh, though um, obviously the RPM of the fan goes up, right, all the way up to uh, 950 RPMs. Uh, so uh, that's that's uh, good enough. But um, you can see here all the brackets, the, the screws, everything that came with it, the manual, uh, so that you can install everything. So it does a good job um, for the stock values as long as you're not overclocking and uh, doing anything uh, fancy or looking for a huge uh, uh, savings in temperature, this does a good job for that. Okay, so uh, there you go. I'd like to uh, thank uh, Silverstone for providing this, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.